A couple of years ago, I was up at the Craft and uh, Flower Warehouse up in Blue Ball, Pennsylvania, and I came across a uh, about a one foot square mat. It was about that big, and it was just nothing but hundreds of these little flowers. Okay, they're not really flowers. It's, it was just stalks and stalks of these little things, and actually they came like this in threes and then this was stuck onto a st uh, another stalk which was fastened to this plastic mat. So what I did was I pulled every one of them off then I cut each one of these little individual pieces off with my pair of cutters which ended up giving me hundreds and hundreds of uh, you can see it here with of these little uh, look, look like little plants okay little uh, plants. So what I did was I took the plants and using a pair of tweezers I held them like this I dipped them actually into the Woodland Scenic Scenic ex Cement then took landscaping uh, grass and just sprinkled all over the, uh, the plant like this then I took each one of them and put them into this piece of foam core board like this uh, prior to that, I had uh, measured off one inch squares, took an awl, made a hole. <coughs> and then I was able to make a lot of these little green plants. Okay, now what I'm going to do is uh, show you how I took these little green shrubs and turned them into flowering shrubs. First, I took some of my scenic cement and poured it into one of these little plastic containers. And actually, these little plastic containers are Gerber baby food containers, of which I must have a thousand of them. Uh, my sister, my, my daughter's sister-in-law uh, saved them for me and put them in a, a bag, and I have tons of them. Now my daughter has a son, so I'm sure I'm going to get some more, because these things come in handy like I had never known, even better than baby food jars. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each one of these little green uh, shrubs that I made, and I'm going to dip the tips, just the tip, into this uh, scenic cement, and then I'm going to dip that tip into each one of the colors of the scenic express flowers. And then I'm going to take one of those and I'm going to stick it on my little grid. So what I end up having, I end up having then is, get my hands out of the way. Uh, I end up having these little shrubs that have flowers on the very tips, just on the very tips of the shrub. So they'll be ready, they'll be, they'll be dry, they'll be ready to use tomorrow night. So um, I showed you how to do two of them. I'm going to take a lot of them and I'm going to uh, make some little flowering shrubs only. I'm going to listen to some music while I'm doing it. I got Pink Floyd queued up here and uh, I'm going to pay some Pink Floyd while I do it. So I'll be back in a little while. I'm putting the finishing touches up on... Uh, on my little flowering plants um, and you're probably wondering why I decided to do this in the middle of my little plantings well obviously these are going to go into my little plantings I don't know how many uh, I'll use but you know what while I'm making them I just did 40 of them right there they are and they're all done I got 40 little flowering plants little shrubberies and I got some that are still green and uh, some of these are going to go into some of my little uh, area uh, landscaping section 